How's it going, millionaires? Welcome back to another Thrill of Will Review. I have something super special for you guys today. I have the privilege, nary I say the honor, of giving you guys a sneak peek, a little look behind the curtain, a little early access to a sandwich that hasn't even come out yet. That's right. I'm here at the place that Mother Bread built the one, the only Panera Bread or St. Louis Bread Company, depending on where you're from. And today, I am super happy to be sharing with you an early look, a sneak peek of the buffalo chicken melt on a French baguette. Let's see what we got cooking here. First of all, we have our lovely bag here from the Panera Bread. We got, they really did a number on the wrap job here, but that's okay. Let's open her up get this sandwich out, do a little crunch test. You guys know the drill by now. You all know what's going on. It took me <laughs> a really hard bag to get into, I'm not gonna lie. All right, we got a, ooh, it's a pretty good size. Pretty good size sandwich here. And hey, they gave me napkins, which is always a bonus. Thank you, Panera Bread, for bringing the clean to my reviews. Let's unwrap this big boy. Oh, he's a little hefty. Usually Panera, sometimes they be a little skimpy, but this has a nice, this has, you can tell there's a nice load in here, a nice load of ingredients. All right, here's the grand reveal. Ooh, she's pretty. All right, so we got our French baguette here that Panera is kind of known for. Let's open her up. Oh, look at that. Look at that buffalo sauce, some American cheese, some onions, some smoked chicken. Mm, mm, mm. This is gonna be good, and I think, I have a feeling, I have a hunch, an inkling, that this crunch test is gonna be one for the ages. So let's get in real close here. We'll see what we got going on. Let's get in here for the crunch test. All right, so let's do some pros and cons here. Pros, a sandwich on a baguette is very good. It passes the crunch test. It has a nice <laughs> to it, like you would want out of a baguette. It's not rock hard, but it has some give to it, and it, you can even hear it. Ooh, that's a good sound. That's a good sound. Second pro, buffalo sauce is very good. It's not too spicy, it's not too mild. I would prefer it a little hotter, let's be honest, but it's Panera Bread. They aren't gonna blow you away with heat and power. You know, they're gonna give you something that, you know, mom and dad can take their daughter to go get after the volleyball game. They're not gonna blow your face off with heat, even though I would like a little more. All right, let's get to the cons. The onions don't do anything for me. They have no flavor. All they do is kind of give you a little stringiness. They don't really add anything of value. Now maybe this is a weak onion on here, but it doesn't really do it for me. It doesn't really turn the dial. It doesn't really make a difference. This would be just the same. And I could say the same for the cheese. It's a little weird having American cheese on a buffalo chicken sandwich, I'm not gonna lie. That's a little strange. It doesn't taste terrible, but it doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I feel like I feel like a different cheese, maybe like a gorgonzola, like a gorgonzola on there, like a gargonzola would go really well. A little gorgonzola action instead of the American cheese. That would be a little weird on a sandwich, but I think that would add a little more funkiness. It would be more traditional or just like a ranch on there as well. Maybe a, ooh, that's actually a little bit of ranch on there. I think that would be better than, uh, than, than some blue cheese dressing, even though I am a sucker for blue cheese. Um, the chicken, I mean, it's not that much meat. It's definitely kind of like what you always get at Panera. It's a lot of bread, not a lot of meat. You know, you kind of know what to expect. Panera, they're, they're baguette it again, <laughs> I guess you could say. But I mean, overall, this is a pretty good sandwich. Again, this hasn't even really been officially revealed yet. The price is probably, I'd imagine, be around $13 to $15 is what their prices seem to be these days, which is a little 
asinine. Their prices are a little extreme. But all that being said, at least it tastes good. I would switch out that American cheese for some gorgonzola or ask them for, uh, I, know, I think they have some like Gouda cheese or something. I don't think, American cheese doesn't make sense for this. It just really doesn't. And then the onions, take them or leave them. Eh, they're fine. They don't really add anything of value. But the chicken, the buffalo sauce and the baguette, it's pretty darn good. Um, that's, uh, that's all I have for you guys. A little sneak peek, a little early access for y'all. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you. Make sure you ring the bell, subscribe, comment, share. Let all of your people know. Let your grandmother know about the beauty, the wonder, the glory of Thrill of Will Reviews.